Our tail of the tape brought to you by Altitude. Chan is 29, four years the senior of Mokhtarin, 25. Mokhtarin has a six centimeter reach advantage and a five centimeter height advantage. The weight, one, almost one kilo in favor of Sumat. And the experience, six straight wins for Su and Mokhtarian. Sam Chan, five wins, two losses in his professional career. Bout number two of the evening, three by five minute rounds in the featherweight division. Proudly brought to you by Ultra Tune. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee in charge is Mr. Greg Glengens. Ladies and gentlemen, firstly, to my left, fighting out of the red corner, training out of the Vim fight team. This man is an MMA fighter, official weight 65 kilograms, even. Standing 174 centimeters tall. Tonight, he's wearing an all blue fight shorts. Seven fights, five wins, four by way of submission. Fighting out of Borneo, Malaysia. Please welcome Sam Swag Chan. his opponent to my right fighting out of the blue corner representing Australian top team ladies and gentlemen official weight 66.2 kilograms standing 179 centimeters tall tonight he is wearing the pink shorts with a black trim fighting out of Sydney New South Wales this man has a discipline in Jitsu. He's also undefeated. Six fights, six wins, one knockout, and four by way of submission. Fighting out of Sydney, New South Wales, representing Australia. This is Suman Mokhtarian. Fighters, two center cage, please, for final instructions. Sam. Okay, gentlemen, we've been through the rules. You need to protect yourselves at all times and obey my instruction at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch gloves if you want. Back to your corner. Greg Clengens, our referee. As Sam? we get set. Sam? <laughs> Sam? Sam Chan. Just a little to the left there of his corner. But he's up against Suman Mokhtarian in Judge. the pink Sujitsu shorts. Judge. Chan Judge. in the, the blue and white. Oh, Round one of three Are by five minute rounds. This one brought to you by Ultratune in the featherweight division. Suman will not take Sam lightly at all. He knows that things can change very quickly in the cage. He's going to pick his moment and he's going he's to try and attempt to execute. Instructions to Sam to use his angles out of the corner. Oh, beautiful. He nails him with two strong strikes immediately. Followed up with a nice knee as well. Yeah, speaking of Suman, uh, earlier on today, he wanted to go out there and light him up with some hands. He wanted to wait him. Oh, man, he's just... Oh, here he goes. Okay, he's got him where he wants him. Sam doing a great job of controlling that arm, but Suman's got over-under. He's, he's looking for the twister. He's looking for the twister. He's already setting it up. He's going to take his time. He's going to get put him in the truck. He's going to slowly squeeze his way to the back. How high Sam, is that? Sam's doing a great job in sitting on that left, on that right leg. That's going to stop Suman from being able to roll. But if Suman wants this, he has to roll over his back. He's got that choke in. He might have this tight. Yeah, he That's could super tight. He might finish. finish right now. Sam Chan might just go out right now. That tight is really tight. He's got the back. All right, he's got him in the truck. He's going to look for the twister. You watch, he's going to pummel his left arm through between that forearm and the bicep. He's looking for it. He's got that wrist control. Well, you watch him. He's going to pull his left arm out. He's going to uppercut it through. And he's going to look at going to baseball bat control. He's going to start to set up the twister. Here he goes. Just watch what he does with that left hand. I'm just waiting for that left hand to come out. He's got plenty of time. Sam knows. He knows he's clinching on that right arm super tight. Trying to break the lock down there of of Suman Mokhtar. Suman might give him a look. He might give him a look at the back and make him move that right elbow a little and try and find a way to, to pummel that left uppercut in. See, he's trying to soften him up now to get that arm to move. Oh, that's a... Look, look, he's smart. You watch, you slowly... Okay. He's got that wrist control. He might have to roll him over. If he wants to, he can roll over his left shoulder and set him up again. He elects to go straight backwards. See, Sam Chan knows what Suman is looking for. He knows he's looking for the twister. Be very impressed how relaxed Sam Chan is in a very difficult position. Well, Sam's got a great ground game as well. I mean, he's not no stranger to the ground game, but whether Suman has got the skill enough to be able to set it up. Oh, jeez, oh, if he reaches behind Suman's head like that, it could be... Oh, he's got the baseball bat! He's got the twister! He's got it! He's got a crack on the head! He might have it! He has to execute! He's got it! He's got the twister! He needs to go to death court four! He has to go to death Субтитры
positions in two Hex appearances for Suman Montari, and it was the TP in Hex 9, it's the Twister at Hex 10, and a very excitable Frank Barker, who's just destroyed another headset, and Suman Montari with a clinical display of jiu-jitsu here in Hex. I think that's his uh, third headset that he's destroyed tonight, Frank Barker, but I can understand why it's excited. That is the first Twister I've ever seen live. I've only ever seen it on TV before, so that was magnificent there by Suman Montari. As soon as he had that lockdown in, it was very difficult. Chan was heavy on he stuck with it. See, he might be a bit hurt. As we see on the replay, Frank. Yeah, look at this. Once you get two hands, once you get that hand behind the body, and you get two hands. Watch this. Suma's got the left arm under. He's been looking for that the whole round long. He puts it behind his back. He got That was unbelievable, Suma Maktarin. And look, he grabs the head, and now it's over. Those ribs are going to start cracking if he doesn't tap out, and there's a tap. And fantastic. And it's happened in Perth as well. And it's the twister, it's the Eddie Bravo school, it's what Frank Barker does best and what Suman Moktarian does best as well, as you see him there with ex-CEO Trent James and I'm sure that will be viral for the next week. Suman's been telling me, he's been telling me he's going to land the twister in the last fight as well. He really wanted to land the twister in his last fight, but the situation didn't allow for it and he finished with a TP. But this time he told me earlier on, i, I got to ride with him. See, it's hard to call fights with your friends. When you see your friends fighting, it's just another level, it really is. And I, I apologise if anybody's, if I nearly blew anyone's eardrums out, but... All right, it's a twister. He's going to speak with Suman Moktarian. Yeah, he's going to be very excited in the cage as well, Steve. Oh, clinical finish. I mean, you've only been in the UFC once. The stun gun did that about two years ago. Very difficult to pull off in MMA. But uh, look at Frank Barker, he's so excited in there with Suman Mokhtarian because, again, he's a, he's a friend and he's pulled off the twister and he told Frank Barker he was going to do it and he did it in front of the Perth crowd. Well, let's go down to Perry Kale for our official decision here at Hex. Proudly brought to you by Altratune, ladies and gentlemen, referee Greg Lengers puts a stop to this contest. Two minutes and 16 seconds into the first round. Your winner by the Twister submission. Your winner and still undefeated, Suman Bokhtarian. <laughs> Big round of applause as well to Sam Swag Chan coming all the way from Borneo, Malaysia. All right, here we are. Here we are with your winner, Suman Bokhtarian, the second Twister ever in Aussie MMA. Third twister in MMA. You were looking for the twister in the last fight. You told me last time at Hex 9 you wanted to hit it, but the opportunity wasn't there for you. And all of a sudden you took the back, those over-unders. We talked about this earlier today. And you wrapped that up like a beauty. That was fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, I'm not the first person to pull, uh, pull off the twister, and I won't be the last, you know. I'm just happy that I can be the first person in Hex Fight Series to come in, and when the cage band's been lifted, I'm happy to have been able to make history with Hex Fight Series, you know? Um, it, it's an amazing event and I go on and on and on about it. I can't express enough how thankful I am to Charles, Trent and Jules, all the team at Hex Fight Series for bringing me on to the best show in Australia. You know, I'm not gonna go out and say anything negative. You know, I don't need to talk about anyone else, you know? They're beneath us. You know, Hex Fight Series is number one, that's why it's here. Look at this arena, look at this crowd. It's amazing. Suman Mokhtari, ladies and gentlemen. You can't cut me off that easy. Guys, guys, I'm very sorry. I've worked hard to get here, so I want my minute to talk. Firstly, I thank, I'd like to thank the sponsors at Hex Fight Series, Unibet. I'd like to thank Altitude. Without these guys, it wouldn't be possible, guys. Unibet makes it fun. Altitude makes this show go. You know, so without these guys working with us, we couldn't get it done. So thank you very much. I want to thank my sponsors, the best clothing label in, in Australia. Let's go Engage Fight Series, uh, Body Fit, Australian Top Team, and Hex Fight Series. I want to dedicate this fight uh, to my mother, who's been battling breast cancer. That's why I wore the pink tonight. Uh, my mum's fighting. You know, my mum's fighting that fight, and she, she's, she's on an uphill battle, but she's doing it. She inspires me to come in here every day, do my thing. I want to say a big thank you to my brother. Right, and a big thank you, a big, big thank you to, to my brother's wife as well, Aziza, who puts up with all my shit. But the lady in my life, my girlfriend, Nadia, she, she's my queen, she does everything for me. She's stuck by me through four years. On my four years, 
I spent it over here, she understood. So thank you very much, guys. And I uh, hope to see you guys again. Thank you. Super Mark Tarian!